Airman starting spot at left guard, and Team Dunlap goes to the second string right tackle position. At sports, I'm Rob Whitworth for CYW News Radio. Up next. KYW News Radio. I'll be monitoring outages. The mass transit picture rose in the situation at the airport. KYW News Time 1048. When it's time for kids to go back to school, to get new clothes and a new school bag. But when summer is over for the rest of us, what do we get besides more work? Hi, I'm Sharon Robinbach, president of Robinson Luggage for the couple's suggestions. How about a stylish messenger bag or computer case? Even if you're not toting a bunch of princess folders or a collection of jelly pens for the office. Fall is still the perfect time to get organized with a great new bag. Or for travel outside the office, be sure to check out the smartest trend to date. Sleek, lightweight polycarbonate luggage for makers like Ramoa, Tumi, and Elsie. Robinson has countless styles in all the latest glossy colors with great durability and easy rolling four-wheel spinners. In short, you don't have to be climbing aboard a big yellow bus to treat yourself to something new. From brilliant bags for business to chic, lightweight luggage in the brightest colors, take off the fall in style at Robinson Luggage. Broader Mona Street in Center City or 519 West Lancaster Avenue in Haverford. You're listening to Delaware Valley, the emergency information station. KYW News Radio Storm Center coverage continues. Hurricane Irene is affecting just about everything from transportation to outages. KYW Down Middle Pack is monitoring all that and more in the Storm Center. Al? Well, we're starting to get some better news, uh, Jeff. SEPTA is starting to phase in some service, according to spokesperson Andrew Bush. There are no departures scheduled from Philadelphia International Airport today. So there is no service uh, along the north. According to, we had a little mix-up there in the copy. There's stuff that is starting to phase in some service, according to Andrew Bush. Uh, that includes uh, uh, most bus routes, the Broad Street subway, the Market Frankfurt L, and uh, in, in addition to most trolley routes. However, still shut down except the suburban trolley routes, the Norristown Route 100 high-speed line, and all the regional rails also shut down is Amtrak, according to Amtrak's spokesperson Danelle Hunter. Assessments are being made of the integrity of the uh, track beds right now, and they're hopeful that the Amtrak uh, will be restored by late today or early tomorrow morning. NJT Pacto all shut down. Service could resume sometime afternoon, depending upon assessments at the airport. All flights remain canceled today, according to airport spokesperson Victoria Lafiga. It's hoped that some limited service could resume late today, possibly as early as 4 Dang. You can go to the airport link at cbsphilly.com or dial up 1-800-PHLP for further information. Live from the Storm Center, Al Novak, KYW News Radio. News time 1051. Can't get enough shows? Pick up an HD radio today and listen to Phillies 24-7 on 98.1 WOGL HD4. Listen to game replays every day at 9 a.m. or visit cbsphilly.com slash phillies 24-7. Brought to you by Global Home Improvement. Have you experienced recent storm damage? If so, call Global Home Improvement's 24-hour emergency hotline at 888-234-2929. Man, the stage got over. Call 888 or globalhometeams.com. Traffic and transit next. Ireland invites you to the Gulf Fibber Fidler of a Lifetime. It's followed by Gulf Fibber Fidler and explained. It's what begins with a lively round of golf at Ballybunion and turns into an even livelier round at Belfast Fibber McGee, where the Fidler plays and four strings, two feet, and occasionally someone shoulders. Golf or Fibber McGee, Fidler. Golf Fibber Fidler. Find great value vacation offers at discoverireland.com. KYW News Time 1052. on the Definitely a lot of uh, flooding in Darbyville and uh, Drexel Hill Route 1 in both directions from Pilgrim Lane to State Road. That is blocked with fallen trees. Again, they are still asking you to stay off of the roads for now while the cleanup continues. We've been hearing about some roving crews on the Schuylkill Expressway that may be out there from time to time uh, getting rid of some debris that is washed across the roads. Now, uh, we're seeing on the PA Turnpike in the Northeast Extension, no problems right now. And the area bridges, they've lifted the track to trailer ban, but we do still have speed restrictions. Now, on the New Jersey Turnpike, you do still have your maximum speed reduced to 35 miles per hour, headed north at 7A. You must get off there because of flooding. We have widespread flooding throughout our area.
area. All of the areas that normally flood have flooded, and they've flooded extra badly. And uh, some areas that were not used to flooding are underwater as well. So just be careful, especially if you're in South Jersey, 295 at the 42 freeway, water creeping across the roadway there. And uh, we're not seeing uh, a lot of mass transit come back yet, but we'll keep you updated. Next update in less than 10 minutes, I'm Randy Ellis, the KYW News Radio 24-Hour Traffic Center. Every prescription you fill at Walgreens goes through a 10.6 percent. Your heat is not Walgreens Health Records for allergies you told us about, so you can take your medication with confidence. To learn more about our 10 point safeguard check, talk to your pharmacist. Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. This is AccuWeather Meteorologist Ted Reed. Irene has moved north of the area, but our life threatening flooding will be continuing. Flood watch remains in effect through the evening hours, and while the heaviest rain is done across the region, there still will be some rain around through about 1 p.m., and then things will begin to dry out, at least rainfall-wise, as the winds still remain a bit on the gusty side this afternoon, reaching 45 miles per hour at times as some sunshine returns. We're looking for a high this afternoon of 78 degrees, and much less wind tonight as the sky clears out, low about 60. A good deal of sunshine expected tomorrow, high about 80 degrees, and then Tuesday through Thursday, more sunshine, which is good news, allowing things to dry out even more. Tuesday's high 84, Wednesday's high 86, Thursday's high 84. And that's AccuWeather on KYW News Radio. And in the tomorrow it's 69 degrees and cloudy at 71 degrees at the airport, going up to 78 today. AccuWeather is sponsored by the AC Inwater Power Boat Show. An exclusive boat show deal you'll never find anywhere else at the Atlantic City Inwater Power Boat Show. September 8th through the 11th at the Golden Nugget Atlantic City. KYW News Time 1055. Well, Hurricane Irene Brandt is being felt all over the area. Maybe nowhere more than in South Jersey. For KYW's Karen Phillips is in Burlington County. She joins us live on the news line. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. I've seen some of that rack here in Medford. If you're trying to get to Medford from North Main Street or what is called 541 at Route 70, forget it. There is a huge tree that is falling across the street from end to end. You've been there for years and you're gone now. Surrounded by emergency equipment. If you're coming down 541, you have to make a right or a left at Route 70. You cannot get to Medford from there. My advice, anybody who is going out this morning, have several alternate routes plans because in some cases, you just can't get there from here. Live from Medford, New Jersey, this is Karen Phillips, KYW News Radio. KYW News Time 1056. The transfer of the last patient from Walter Reed Army Medical Center was moved up to get ahead of Hurricane Irene. Thick gray clouds overhead and an occasional rain shower. Signal Hurricane Irene is approaching as the last wounded warriors are transferred out from Walter Reed Army Medical Center in a cavalcade of ambulances. The closing ends over years of medical history. Their ABC News at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. A project off the coast of Texas is designed to harness the sea breeze to create electricity. If all goes as planned, the waters off the Texas coast will be home to the nation's first offshore wind farm. Wow. Just getting a look here at the Granite Run Mall. Look at that parking lot. Well, that's good. Workplace is still standing. I got tree trimmers.
God, that is a lot of power, Cruz. 